Ooh, what is up you guys and of course as always welcome back to another Wi-Fi battle of course in the PU which is truly this character and I'm gonna be up against a very good friend of mine Styx from the Token Minority his channel is gonna of course be linked down below though I'm pretty sure you guys already know about the Token Minorities in general Jolt and Styx both being very very good competitive battlers hence why this battle is so funny because we decided to not go competitive, I kind of feel that Wi-Fi for me is more about using a few weird mods and just have fun with it. I don't believe it has to be competitive, I want the entertainment value and sticks really get that. So we decided to um, take a few liberties, if one would say, with the, the game itself. So it definitely turned out really interesting. And also, just before going to the match, if you want to battle me, I've left a few leagues, I should say. Uh, due to actually not necessarily having the time, I really want to go back to Wi-Fi battling. So if you want to battle me, make sure to follow me on Discord, Twitter, and of course, say the comment section down below. Yeah, with friends, could or whatnot, we'll set something up because I'm definitely focusing more towards Wi-Fi battles now in the future with all the little leaks that I'm running myself. Because, well, as I said, due to the time issues, I kind of feel Wi-Fi battle it's is what gets the most entertainment value from me, and I really just want to get back to that. So with that said, I'm bringing Carnivine, Fracture, Marini, Wishcast, which is awesome by the way, Lonatone, and Pharaoh. My opponent here has a Torterra, Basculine, Gramble, Lantern, Manitric, and uh, Sviper. So starting at it, my opponent is very weak to ground, making Wishcast a really, really interesting mod to use this. Battle. But yeah, I feel like I'm gonna start off with his Sorterra, so I'm gonna really up with my Carnivine, and we're gonna take the battle from there. So, with all this said, let's go into the match. So, I lead off with my Carnivine, which I actually call the Dementor. Basically, it is an infestation set with Toxic, Lead Seed, and uh, Giga Rain. Super annoying, and uh, I really just wanna have some fun with it. I really like Carnivine, though clearly maybe not necessarily the most viable Pokemon. Now, I'll go for free Toxic here. Definitely felt probably infestation would have been a stronger player, considered that Torterra can necessarily touch me, and if it can, it definitely can't touch me as badly as uh, he'll actually decide to switch out there and go to what probably would be the ideal switch in front of the ghetto, which will be the Sviper. And yeah, infestation while doing damage. You know, I don't want to take a sludge away from this guy. Um, I'm very, very, very forced out. Sviper, due to its mixed offensive, makes it very hard to check at least first turn to know which side it will hit you on. So I'm going to lead off with Anastasia here. Uh, basically, soak whatever comes my way. I feel like it would be decisively a good play. As Sludge Bomb is what comes, it doesn't necessarily do all too much. And he going to side switch out, go into his Manitric. Now, I went for um, Toxic Spike and actually thinking about it, pretty unfortunate actually I didn't go for Skull. You'll find out later why that was unfortunate. However, it is um, at least I get the Toxic Spike out of it. The thing is here, I don't necessarily have a good switch in towards Volt Switch. So I really thought I could soak as Volt, Volt Switch and recover. Um, I couldn't do that, and I really, really thought from the moment here that, okay, he's probably modest, considered amount of damage to, to me, as I lose my Toxic Spike, which is super, super unfortunate. So I'm going to bring in Valis, uh, which is my Lonatone, and uh, yeah, I'm basically going to go for Self Rocks. I don't believe he has any way of actually uh, killing me, or, you know, Dark Pulse would be his strongest play, if that's what he decides to do. Uh, the reason I say that is because... Um, Lonatone actually got bulkier this generation, so it's able to take a few hits and retaliate quite right. And it's speed enough to deal with Sniper and will kill it in return, which is really, really cool. Because that means that we have rocks in the field and we, you know, I'm life for you, I'm up there. As Basculin comes in and um, here as well, I shall do a bit of a misplay, I think. Uh, I'll clearly sack my Lonatone, I mean, it's it's done for, it, it basically won't do anything to us. For, for the rest of the game, it's done. Uh, due to Stealth Rocks, it basically can't come in anyway. So I'm going to bring in the, my Demento, and really was hoping that he would switch out. Uh, but no, he keeps staying in, actually. Go for a double edge, it does roughly about 50%. Uh, but what is more unfortunate is that I missed the lead seed. Uh, I really, really was thinking, I'm I'm forcing him out here. So Giga Rain felt really, really dumb. But thinking about it afterwards, Giga Rain would have ensured a KO here. And I would not have lost my Carnivine like this. It really felt like a very short hand from my side. I definitely needed Carnivine. With that said, I'm going to bring Ashbringer, which is my Fracture. And since it's fairly bulky, I can actually go for a Dragon Dance if I so desire. And you know what I do? I do desire the, <laughs> of course, the, um, the Dragon Dance here. So it keeps going for double edges. 
Uh, I should say this, of course, this Carnivine is banded, that's why it does so much damage if anybody is wondering that. Uh, so I get my Dragon and stuff, I, I just did that because of that he was banded. So I go for the Poison Jab, clearly killing the Basculin, which is awesome. Uh, massive threat that definitely could have dealt with a much smarter way. Now he'll bring Gramble. Gramble's play rough or anything that Gramble will throw at me will KO me and um, I won't necessarily get another shot at actually setting up. So with that in mind, I decide to just go for the sack play, go for the poison jab. And I do a fair chunk of damage, but what is more unfortunate for my opponent is that he missed the play rough. This means that we get a pretty, pretty strong opening here because all of a sudden we are able to KO the Gramble. So it's whether or not um, his um, what we call his manetric is, is is most likely is scuffed in worst case scenario and he actually brings it frozen in like this and this is definitely getting the feeling like, yeah it's probably scarred I need to keep attacking but we do lose my fracture right here and uh, yeah, it's unfortunate I definitely felt I have a big opening that I kind of kind of missed out on as I can now bring my Chaga for anybody to get the tiger reference there, but yeah, <laughs> my wish cast, and I'm gonna go for Dragon as I mean, there is no reason not to, as he brings in Zorterra, and it's probably his best check towards my, well, my beautiful catfish, so with this in mind, I am Fly MC, and so I'll do what is required from this environment, and actually just go for the C bounce, and just annihilate Zorterra, it will be easily KO'd uh, by this C move, but... Unfortunately, I should say, due to my opponent being actually a meta player, he had that feeling that I could do that play. Goes back to Manetric, and yeah, we're going to, um, well, waste <laughs> actually my C move. Now, this was the reason I felt it was unfortunate that I didn't skull with my uh, Marini, and it is because I won't be able to secure a KO with Supersonic Sky Strike on, my, on this Manetric. However, had I skulled, I would have been able to KO it. So I felt that this was unfortunate because it does mean that Manetric can come in and out. Now I can clearly, I'm, I'm not threatened here, so I can easily go for Dragon Dance. I don't necessarily need to worry as my opponent actually brings back his Torterra. Um, now I don't know how much um, a plus three or two uh, bounce will do, but definitely I know that you know a plus one bounce will definitely not KO Torterra. So we're trying this one more time. I mean, we're getting some slow residual damage towards my tor tor towards this Torterra. However, my opponent keeps just giving as he goes to land turn as I go for the bounce, and you know he gets a free turn clearly. Uh, and it's whether or not, really, to be completely honest, if um, depending on the set, what I can do towards the land turn. Uh, C bounce clearly doesn't do anything. I was fair in the skull. He is way worse. He is agility. And what that means is that, all right, it's a, it's a different set, and it goes for Hydro Pump, and while it doesn't KO, it does massive damage towards my poor Wishcast. Uh, I am able to retaliate and, of course, kill the Lantern, but yeah, that's that was a cool set. Never seen offensive Lantern, and from the looks of it, it could have been viable had Wishcast been in a lower range, as Torterra yet again comes in, and... Um, well, let's be fair here, the only thing I can do is go for the bounce. My opponent is, yet again, the stronger, high-minded player. Goes for Synthesis, just to try to soak whatever comes his way, as Toxic, of course, is a thing that exists. I definitely was thinking about Dragon Dancing another time, but at the same time, plus two C bounce should really be enough, or at least so I thought, as um, it is far <laughs> from my KO. Uh, so he'll go for C bomb, and that's far right. And, uh, you know, clearly KO in my wish cast. But my last Pokemon here is Pharaoh. I easily outspeed the Torterra. It is whether or not um, I he's modest or timid on his Manetric. If he's modest, I will be able to outspeed and retaliate and or and KO him because I am Scarf myself. But is it, if he's timid max speed, I won't be able to outspeed him. So that's the only environment left. Uh, and as stated before, had I Skull with my Marini, I would have KO'd this Manetric on the switch in, so it comes down to you know, that really, really crucial, crucial turn. And of course, as you guys already might have guessed, he is timid Scarf that will of course KO the Pharaoh and he will win this game battle barely a 1 0. But quite frankly, this was a really, really exciting game. But yeah, I really thought this game was super exciting, and you know. 
what is worth, you know, I, as I said there, had I scored with Marini, I actually would have won this game. With, with all these plays in mind, I would have been in a stronger spot. But that said, you know, I don't mind a loss. <laughs> I don't necessarily care. I think it was a great scene. A few really strange things. Swiper was really cool. Of course, Agility Lantern. Yeah, that's up there. Uh, I myself, will, you know, I'll keep doing what I do and actually just bring weird stuff. And um, I'll do that for only one reason, to be honest. And that is because... I do believe that anybody can play competitively well, there only are so many slick Pokemon that ensure that you can play competitively well. So with that in mind, I want to strive for more an approach of I'm going to be as competitive as I can be with the Pokemon I want to use, which will mean that some battles might be very, very one-sided, but also many of them will be very exciting. My opponent are much like six get the concept I'm going for and try to do something similar. I do believe, like I said there, the game came down to you know, the very last turn and it really, really was to the very end of a tight game and an interesting one at that and that only is something that's able to happen if both players want to create the same kind of scenario. So with that in mind guys, if you want to battle me, have this in mind, this is something I want to go with and I think it makes for really good content. Uh, and also, massive thanks to Six, of course, for battle. GG, buddy, definitely, I think you were. You deserve the game, to be to be completely honest. The missing player of kind of kind of helped me in getting an opening that probably shouldn't have gone in the first place. So, with that said, guys, thank you for always watching, and I'll see you next video. Till then, of course, always take care.